Avanil Kumar and here is an example on geometric distribution. Consider a repeated rolling of a fair die. What is the probability of rolling a 6 in fewer than 3 rolls? And part B is, what is the probability of rolling 6 exactly after 3 rolls? So these are all independent events with success or failure as uh, the two outcomes. So these are N Bernoulli rolls. Now let's look into the first part which is what is the probability of rolling a 6 in fewer than 3 rolls. That means what is the probability of rolling the 6. So we'll say probability of uh, rolling 6, right roll a 6 is success for us. So that is what we are trying to find. Now it says what is the probability of rolling a 6 in fewer than 3 rolls that means you could roll it in the first roll so the options are so you get success in the very first time or you get failure and a success. So fewer than 3 rolls means it could be 2 rolls right. So that means we are looking for 2 rolls. So if you get success in the first roll, then the probability for success to roll 6 in this particular case is, is 1 out of 6, right? Probability for failure is 5 out of 6. A die has 6 faces, so rolling a 6 is 1 out of 6 as a success. And the failure is 5 out of 6. These are all independent events. So in the first roll, if you get a success, then this probability is 1 out of 6. And if you get success in the second roll, failure in the first, then it is 5 out of 6 times 1 over 6. So that is what it is. What is the probability of rolling 6 in fewer than 3 rolls? So probability of success uh, in less than 3 is equal to sum of these two so which is 1 over 6 plus we get 5 over 36 right so that is what we get and this is equal to we can now calculate this value 1 divided by 6 equals 2 and we'll plus 5 divided by 6 which is equal to oh sorry 5 divided by 36 I'm sorry so it is 1 divided by 6 plus 5 divided by 36 which is equals to 11 over 36 and that is equals to 0 0.305 is it okay so that is what it is so the probability is around 30 percent right so you could say 30 percent so you can say about 30.5 percent is it okay so that is how you can actually find this solution now the second part is what is the probability of rolling a 6 exactly after 3 rolls? Now, how to do that? Now, let's do part B. When we say exactly after 3 rolls, that means we have had 2 failures, right? I mean exactly after three rows that means three failures and then a success okay so that means three failures followed by a success that is what the probability is so it'll be product of these so in this case the probability of our random variable will be three failures five over 6 is probability for failure 3 means they multiplied 3 times Q and then one success means 1 over 6 right so that becomes the solution correct so let's do this so we have 5 divided by 6 cube of this times 1 divided by 6 which is equals to in decimals 0.964 let's say 5 is that okay so that is what our answer is so our exactly after three rows means first three rows are failure and then a success right 
So that is how we could actually do this question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.